students here at Our Lady of Guadalupe Catholic School are being taught half the day in English and the other half in Spanish to create an enriched dual language environment and to set them up for future success. Not only are we able to set our children on the pathway to becoming fully bilingual, biliterate, and bicultural by graduation, um, we're most excited about turning language and culture into a focus that's seen as an asset, as something to be celebrated, rather than something to be taught away or pushed to the side. Today, a few students participated in a reading contest coordinated by the school and the Council General of El Salvador, who visited the school for the very first time. Being aware that kids are still interested in learning Spanish here, where English is the official language, Spanish provides them the opportunity to get to know more about their roots. So it's really important for me to be at this school where they uh, are showing both languages and, and the kids are really uh, interested in it and they love it. And the students couldn't agree anymore. Now I can have like another language to know. I don't only know English, so I can understand Spanish. Coming to a school with a dual language program, dual language teachers, I felt very welcome. It's very important for me to speak Spanish because most of my relatives do it. And so many were proud of them. They um, felt um, comfortable to, to show part of who they are. Um, and they, again, they felt confident to do that. So I was really proud of them for, for getting up there and, and, and reading so beautifully. To hear our students reading in Spanish, reflecting the various different countries that they came from, and also to see how respectful the audience was of the students uh, is really what we're trying to work. It's a culture where everyone is respected, everyone is honored and um, we work together to, uh, to build a, a climate of, of care and concern. In Deer Park, Star Fuentes reporting for Greater Long Island.